The man accused of killing four-year-old Malia Davis two years ago is now headed to prison. 28-year-old Darion Vince pleaded guilty Thursday to tampering with a corpse and injury to a child. Malia's disappearance captivated the nation as the search for the girl grew desperate and questions remained unanswered about what happened to her. Marla Carter spoke to one of the men who searched for Malia to get his reaction to the suspect's guilty plea. Malia Davis captured the heart of Houston. Her neighbors remember Malia's sweet wave to say hello. But she was such a sweet little girl. I think about it all the time while I'm walking my dog. Lena says she would see Malia with Darian Vince. He was watching Malia while her mother was out of town. It was during that time in early May of 2019 when Malia was reported missing. Texas EquiSearch immediately went into action and started looking for the four-year-old girl. When she first disappeared and we was up off of Greens Road up by Intercontinental Airport and then we was all over the place. Vince told police he was attacked by unknown men, woke up, and Malia was gone. Meanwhile, the search continued. We was out in front of the detective several times every single day. Then surveillance video of Malia surfaced, showing the little girl outside her apartment with Vince on April 30th of 2019. Investigators believe that Vince was the last person to see Malia alive. Then there was a break in the case. A confession by Vince led authorities to Arkansas. Malia's remains were found on the side of the road. Tim Miller with EquiSearch traveled to the scene in a plane with detectives. I remember the after we put her in a container and everything and brought her back to Houston with her little container sitting there with us and how uh, how quiet the flight was back bringing her back to Houston. Miller returned to Malia's apartment today with a guilty plea and no trial. Miller has mixed feelings. We'll never know why and we'll never know how. But you know, maybe it's for the best. It may just be too painful. While Malia may no longer be here in person, her spirit lives on in Miller, in her neighbors, and in all of the hearts she touched. I just wish she was still around for me to see her little smiley face. Let's hope today's the end and people can really start the healing process.